Bright Suns, everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're back here at Walt Disney World in Galaxy's Edge, and it's been a long time since we've been here, and a lot has changed over the last year. So we're gonna bring you along today and show you all the new things. Yeah, there's some new merchandise in the Droid Depot, in the Marketplace, even at Savi's. Yeah, so come with us on this adventure. <laughs> Galaxy's Edge, the line for the Money and Falcon Smuggler's Run goes all the way to the Galaxy's Edge entrance. I would advise if you're coming here, don't get in that line until later in the day because it's, it's not worth waiting that long for this ride. And later in the day, you can just like, it's like 20, 30 minutes. Interesting because they have some backstage areas open to accommodate these lines. Places that we don't normally see are not supposed to be seen, like this one right here in the First Order cargo area where <laughs> these doors are normally shut. This is normally an entrance over in Batu West at Disneyland. But here you usually do not see past the doors. If you want to go take a look at the legacy lightsabers at Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, you have to sign up for a virtual wait list by scanning a QR code and then they text you when it, you can come in and actually handle and possibly buy one of the artifacts in Doc's collection. Oh no, the first order is here. Best? You can see a lot from up here. I guess that's the point. Oh, they didn't. Did you hear that? I don't know if you caught it on the film, but he's like, it looks like you're not the last Jedi. Ooh, burn! Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is he? What is, if little does he know? Everybody's always underestimating. I know. What the heck? <laughs> so I saw this photo on Instagram of someone standing somewhere in Galaxy's Edge, and you know we've been all over Galaxy's Edge. I've never seen this location before. It looked like a cool photo, and I've tracked it down. It's only in Walt Disney World. It's when you're leaving Smuggler's Run. We're gonna try to get the photo with Ketra because I think it looks really cool. And I just love that we're discovering new photo locations. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we've been exploring this place for over a year now, and there's still little nooks and crannies that we still haven't, like, fully seen. So when you're leaving Smuggler's Run, you wouldn't normally see this because you're walking out and you don't, you don't see that because it's behind you. This photo spot is so much fun. I think like the funnest part or like the most challenging thing about it is you have to wait for like waves of people to come out and then you have to like run in, take your photo, get it before the next person comes. Yeah, so, you gotta be so, considerate. Yeah, we've spent like way too much time here trying to get these photos, but I think they were worth it. They're so unlike any other spot in Batu. So this can be our little secret. Come get your spot right here. I just love those lights. Yeah, it looks those so cool. Those lights look so cool. I love it. Oh, I just got my text message from Doc Ondar on my data pad. So let's go look at some legacy lightsabers. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Peter, right here. Now, if you want to go look at something, try to keep her to stay here. Or if she wants to go look at something, you stay here. Since the last time we were here in Batu, they have released two new legacy lightsabers. That is Ahsoka Tano's lightsaber from the Clone Wars and also Count Dooku's. Sith lightsaber, and they've also announced Cal's lightsaber from Jedi Fallen Order. I'm, I'm not sure what they have, but we're gonna go see. Oh my god. You notice anything different in here? Oh yeah, Doc is on his vacation. Where's Doc Ondar? He went to California. Uh, oh yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Man, I was looking forward to seeing him. Me too. Aww. I was so, wondering why it was so quiet in here. Doc has to take a break every once in a while too. And we also just learned that the Ahsoka, the Ahsoka Clone Wars lightsaber is sold out. They don't even have a display unit. Oh man. But I'm gonna see, still see if we have uh, Dooku's lightsaber because I haven't picked it up. I haven't gotten to feel it yet. So I wanna, you know, it's such a weird shape. I wanna, I don't know, I wanna check it out. <laughs> yeah. At the beginning of lockdown, we were going through Doc's collection one by one showing where each of these artifacts were from. Oh, I wish I could could have just come in here with a camera and actually filmed some of the stuff for myself because 
all we had to go off of was like photos that were graciously donated. But seeing them in person in video. Yeah, I'm realizing that there's so much more stuff in here. We, need, we could make a bunch more videos. Is that something that you guys would be interested in seeing? Because we would love to do it. But I mean, Doc's got a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is the least busy I've ever seen Doc Gondars. Like maybe 20 people in here. And usually when we're in here, it's like over 100, 200. So I guess I'm saying the only plus about the pandemic is you can walk around Doc Gondars. Yeah. But how long I'm, did it I'm take... kidding. That, that's, a, that's a bad joke. It was a joke. But how long did it take you to get that text message to come back? A couple hours. Yeah. It's just so weird, the good curve saver. Wow, it's fancy. Yeah, I'd be afraid to like, just like, <laughs> hit someone. How's this look? Oh, looks good actually. You look good in red. I know you like green, but. Yeah, the dark side does not, does not call me, I don't think. <laughs> the dark side calls me. Yeah. I actually really liked that one. I, th I don't know why with the dark side, I know it doesn't call you, but I think it ca might call me a little. It was fancy. I didn't realize it was like so flashy. I'm honestly surprised you didn't, you don't want it. It, it is cool. It's so different than everything else. Yeah, I think that's why I'm drawn to it. Not because I'm drawn to the dark side. Sure. I feel like I want to buy something in here just because like we haven't been in here for so long and it, it feels so limited to me. Everything in here is like so ridiculous though, like, but I kind of want to get something. I don't know what. I always like these busts, but I don't know. Do we have a space for a Darth Maul bust? <laughs> it's cool though. We can make space here. It's kind of funny that they put the Emperor's cane in this display case because they used to have them out, but then people kept on dropping and breaking them. So now they have it locked away in a display case. Is that why? I, I'm guessing so. But I remember like all of them were like chipped and people were like so mad about it. They're delicate. You're in luck. They still have one left in your color. I don't need it. It was the last one left. I don't need a Jedi Padawan brain. I think we can get those online. So the other new thing that's in Doc Gonders that's worth talking about is Kyber Crystals. We've talked about this little guy in many videos. This is a red Kyber Crystal, has silver edges to it. And they've come out with two new Kyber Crystals in the last few months or so. And these have a bronze edge to them. They're called Force Guidance Crystals. There's a red one, you put in a holocron and you can ask Darth Vader questions. There's a green one and you can put in a holocron and ask Yoda yes or no questions. It's basically a function of the Magic 8 Ball. It's cool, same price as the other Kyber Crystals, 15 bucks. Doesn't do anything different in the, the lightsabers. I don't have a, we don't have a holocron yet, so I don't think we need these, but if you have a holocron, definitely worth getting. Another new item is this Patty Frog Sipper. This is, of course, the iconic frog orb thing that Jabba the Hutt drinks out of. There's actually a little like frog creature inside. You can get this for $15.99 with soda or $17.49 if you want to get the Tatooine Sunset, which is an amazing drink that they serve here. And I just think it's so much fun. Like it's a lot smaller than like I've seen photos of it and it's a lot smaller and more manageable and it even lights up. And if you look inside, you can see him swimming around in there. It's so creepy. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm so happy we were finally able to get one. I remember hearing one of the puppeteers that operated Jabba the Hutt, because they used a real frog, a real African frog in the filming of some of those scenes in, in Return of the Jedi. That at one point, the, the frog escaped and he was inside and he just heard all this commotion and he, he didn't know what was going on, but he figured it out because like he just heard everybody like trying to catch the frog. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I thought it, <laughs> I, I thought it was funny. I mean, this is only in one film for a, a couple moments, but it's still iconic. Yeah. So it's, it's cool that like now you can, you can be sipping your drink. I mean, you know, you can be off to the side, sipping your drink. We didn't get the drink in there. You can ask to get not get the drink in there because, you know, 
we don't open our figures. We, we, we want it to be pristine collection. No, that's actually not true. We open our figures. Yeah, but like, what are you talking about? I just, we're flying home today and I didn't want to like it to be sticky on the plane. Yeah, that's exactly why. <laughs> Anyways, this is so cool. That's where we have to go, over here. Where I got myself a recycled thermal detonator filled with Diet Coke. You get a little bit of that residue from the, the, the old thermal detonator in there, but <laughs> it basically tastes like Diet Coke. Yes. Highly recommend. Five out of five feeders? Five out of five feeders. One of the new items that we weren't able to try on this trip was the spiced Servat cider. They only serve this when it's cold here in the east side of Batu, which doesn't happen that often. And this is a hot apple cider. and has notes of hickory smoke and winter spices. And it's sold for $3.79 over at Ronto's Roasters. Someday we'll get a chance. Someday it'll be cold enough for us to, to consume some of this warm cider. But not today. No, definitely not today. <laughs> yeah. the, the, those three suns, they're out. And that, that, <laughs> yeah. You can see it from the reflection of my head. Yeah. I was <laughs> say, the, you need a hat. <laughs> yeah. Do they sell hats in Batu? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to go look. They only let one party at a time into any of the stalls in the marketplace. So there is a long line to be able to go into the marketplace. I was just about to use the refreshers and I just noticed that this drinking fountain area is actually closed and they've closed the little water tank where the Dianoga usually pops out. I guess it makes sense. They probably don't want to draw a crowd and you shouldn't really be drinking from water fountains during the pandemic, but wow. That was one of our favorite things at Galaxy's Edge. It's just kind of crazy that it's like completely missing. Over the last few months, they've added a bunch of new items to the marketplace here at Black Spire Outpost. So we're gonna go check them out, see, what, see what's new. We're over at the Toy Darian Toy Maker, and I just gotta say, look at this little cutie right here. This little Moz doll. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything cuter in your entire life? I love her glasses. Oh my, yes, I'm even doing the butt check on Ma. Sorry, yeah. it's gotta be done. Adorable, I love these dolls. I want them all. And I don't think they have it here, but they, they made a, a holiday special version of Boba Fett that was out here. It was a different colorway, but it looks like they are sold out, at least right now. I love these little, <laughs> these little, what do you call them? Like you could, changed their shape and I just love like the display of like all these throngs and like different positions. This one's dancing over here. <laughs> he looks like a ballerina. Yeah this is something that came out in like November around that same time. Like what is going on over here? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So in Rogue One Jin Erso had a doll, a Stormtrooper doll and it looked like this and they reproduced it for th the store oh, but they have now made a Boba Fett version of this wooden doll. That's so awesome. Yeah. And they're, they're gonna have to make all the characters with this. You wanna buy, this is like in a, what, Ewok drum. I know. Out of everything in here, you think I would want that the most, huh? Yeah. No, but I, I don't know. I just, I said this when we were in Doc Ondars too. I just, waiting in all these lines, like it really makes me feel like I wanna buy something, but yeah. like I don't really need anything. But I mean, I've always wanted one of these. Frog that, dog. That'd be cute. It reminds me cute? of Pixel. I could put it on my desk. Yeah. Frog dog, you're coming home with me. This will easily fit my luggage. <laughs> <laughs> One of the proprietors here at the marketplace while we were checking out was like, going on any ordinary adventures lately? So I think I think word of our adventures have have spread around the galaxy like wildfire. Cat Saka's kettle is still closed. The roaster's on but there's no corn from the farm. And now let's head into my favorite spot in the marketplace, which is the creature stall. Still sleeping, huh? He's so tired. <laughs> he's always sleeping. I love his little noises. He's just, he's just like this one, always sleeping. Look at all, all these little newborn porgs. They're just begging to be adopted. These yeah. are so cute! And it's not just like a mini pork stuffed animal, this is a toddler pork. Yeah. Oh, is that actually what it's called? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. 
sorry. Oh my god. These are so cool. I love their little feeties. <laughs> Do they sit on your shoulder? Is that what? Oh yeah, it's one of the ones that you put on your shoulder. They had a previous version of this shoulder port, but this one, I like this one better. It looks more real, like with the little feet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Chewy, if you're watching this, this is not food. This is your friend. <laughs> Be nice to the toddler port. Look at this one like smushed up against the glass. <laughs> he likes his safety. He wants to be behind the plexiglass. That's true. Oh my god. It is the scale. Like that's what a toddler <laughs> tour would be. To, like, Why do I love this so much? Why do you not have one of these ports? I don't know. They're like the greatest because you like pull that down and they like, yeah. really make noise. I know. <laughs> How do you not own them? Welcome back to Ordinary Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's awesome. These make noise too. Oh no. You hear that? Yeah. I didn't realize that these make noises too. I don't need it. It's fine. Put it back. This will go to a loving home, just it's not going to be me today. Another new creature to land in the creature stall is this baby Dianoga. While I was just talking about the one out by the water fountain, it's not there anymore. They got him in here. And I think you, you like pull his little legs and then his eye will blink and his head will like pop around. And I love his little carrying case. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah, the carrying case I think makes it. Why are there so many cute like baby creatures in here all of a sudden? Why not? I wish they would make like baby creatures for all the Star Wars creatures. Good point. I would be sold. I would buy yeah, the one problem of is each. you can't buy a, a life size. I mean, you can't buy an adult diagnosis. You're right. I guess these all are shrunken down. You're right. Yeah. You're How would you carry that home? This is so cool. Yes, you have to wait 30 to 45 minutes to get into the marketplace. But once you're in there, you get each of the stalls to your to yourself. It's, it's kind of like the VIP treatment when like they they close down the store and it's just you in the store by yourself. Yeah, so you finally get to live out your Michael Jackson fantasy of going shopping by yourself. Yes, <laughs> but on the negative side, there's a line of people waiting outside the store waiting for you to leave. So you kind of feel rushed while you're inside there, but pros and cons, like I'm saying, it, it, it's less immersive to get your own stall to yourself. Yeah. Before we go check out some more stuff in Galaxy's Edge, we just wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to explore new skills and deepen old passion. Skillshare has a wide range of classes. People are often asking us how we vlog. They have classes on there teaching you how to make videos, even using just your iPhone. It's less than $10 a month, and they're always adding new courses. We have this really good camera that we shoot our videos on. When it comes to our thumbnail photos, I end up usually just taking them on our phone, but I just started taking the Skillshare course from Justin Bridges. It's the fundamentals of DSLR photography, and soon I hope to get some awesome photos. The first thousand of our subscribers to click the link below in the description will get a free premium membership trial so you can explore your creativity. All of us are finding ourselves at home with more time on our hands. And I think right now is the time to do that thing that you've always wanted to do. And with that, back to Batu. Next up, we're gonna go into Jewels of Bith, which is a store that carries like t-shirts and gifts from your travels to Batu. And we've heard that there's some, some new merchandise for Savi's workshop to be found in here, so let's go look at it. When Galaxy Edge opened, I don't think Disney was expecting Savi's workshop to be as popular as it was. And people were like clamoring for merchandise. Like people love those pins that you get when you build a lightsaber and they didn't really have anything else. I think they heard people's, you know, calls. So they, they've released a couple little things in this store. So first of all, they have this t-shirt that says Force Wielder. And that's what's said on the the sheath that you can buy and dock onto our for your, your custom Savi's lightsaber. Yeah, I never understood this because if you're walking around Galaxy's Edge wearing this shirt, the stormtroopers are gonna catch you. <laughs> like, what are you? Yeah. Can you make it any more obvious? Is there anything on the back? <laughs> I'm guessing not. Oh, there is. Oh, all the pins. That's cool. That is cool. Is I almost wish that was the front. Isn't this like the Savi's logo? Yeah. Too? And those are the four themes. Yeah, and once again, I, 
think this is for children. Because this is a medium and it's like super Why small. Why is all the cool stuff for children? You stole the words right out of my mouth. And here's the other Savi's merchandise that I was talking about. They have a bunch of pins. So these are different than the pins that you get when you build a lightsaber. But they have the the four different... Oh, it's a patch and a pin. So that's the Savi's logo as the pin. And this is the, the thing that you normally get as a pin as a patch. Oh, that's cool. So they have the elemental, or actually elementals right here. That's the one I got. Oh, and it's green. Oh, it's like matches. It's meant to be. Yeah. So cool. It's been so long since I've been here, so I'm, I'm not quite sure if this is new or not. I don't remember this Batu magnet, but it is pretty cool. Even if it isn't new, it's cool. Also, I could be wrong, but I think this pilot keychain is new. And also this Millennium Falcon keychain is relatively new as well. I think Disney saw that like there was so much of a secondary market of people selling things that have like those cards like pilot, engineer. So they made their own merchandise and they made it in a form of a keychain. Speaking of Savi's workshop, one of the things that people have always wanted was the ability to buy extra pieces when you build your lightsaber. Because when you build your saber, you only get to keep the pieces that you actually constructed with. The ones that you didn't use get discarded and go back into the scrap pile for Savi's. Now here at Batu East, you can buy scrap metal pieces. $25 each or two for 40, which is cool because then you could mix and match pieces for your collection from, you know, you don't have to decide, like if you don't want to commit to a lightsaber today, you could have a couple extra pieces at home to like change out. You know how we change our masks and how we feel? It's a fashion accessory. It's not just a lightsaber. It's not just a weapon. That's C2 and then that's L4. I'm sure this isn't like too exciting, but they did release recently some new droid keychains. This is one of them. This is the other. And this is the third one. And I think they might light it up or something. Oh! Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it should make noise. Well, it did make noise. You didn't hear that? Why are these so cool? I love this little yellow guy. He's my new favorite droid. And they did release some new action figures. So they have like Forlom, who is your favorite droid bounty hunter, and CB23, who is from Star Wars Resistance, the animated series. I have not really watched that show, so I don't really know much about him but he, he looks cute. And you can actually buy him over here, and this is the only way that you could actually get this specific head and coloring, and he even makes the noises that he makes on the show. So, I mean, now I feel like we really gotta watch that show. When Galaxy's Edge opened up, they had these custom experiences, but they didn't really want people to leave with anything extra. I don't know why. Keep, give people what they want. Give them extra lightsaber parts, give them extra droid parts. Now that is possible. Here at Droid Depot, you can buy custom astromech parts for $10 when you buy three, or it's $15 each. So basically, if you can't commit to a head for your <laughs> droid, you can, you can buy a bunch of different heads. Do you, you remember buy one how much trouble I had when I made my droid? It took me 45 minutes just to pick the parts. Yeah. Now you can just, you know, buy extras. Yeah, you just gotta fit them in your suitcase when you're going home off planet. Exactly. I know that this isn't new, but I just wanted to point this out because I thought it was funny. They have this droid factory little set, and it comes with all these little droids, and they're in their little factory. <laughs> but like, the funniest thing is like, is just, there's like this little hot tub. <laughs> like, yeah, because you put them in the water and they change <laughs> colors. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. This would look good on your droid shelf, just saying. You need the little hot tub for your droids. When Galaxy's Edge first opened, they had this special Disney gift card. It was the currency of Black Spire Outpost. It's called Spira, which is because of the Black Spire, of course. And it came in this like dull copper color. Now they have released a different version of this a few months ago. It comes in this black little booklet. And when you open it up, it has an arabesque on it. It is a silver version of the Spira coin. It's still a Disney gift card that has a barcode on the back. 
The thing that is different though is now you don't get it for free by buying a hundred dollar gift card. You have there's a five dollar activation fee. You can load it with at least a hundred dollars. You can go as high as you want, but it has to be at least a hundred dollars. But you're already gonna spend this hundred bucks anyway. So why not yeah. why not get a coin and for five bucks for your for your effort? You know, it's a, a souvenir, it's a good souvenir. I love all the new stuff that we've seen today. I gotta say this actually might be my favorite. As you know, outside of Droid Depot, they have these droids right outside. And now you can finally buy them and bring them home with you. I don't know why they didn't do this from the beginning. But now you can get all five of them. Isn't that cool? I mean, they don't like move or anything, but... Yeah, they're just action figures. Yeah. So awesome. Eventually, we're going to have to like expand the droid shelf. So like you could put a littler shelf below yeah. with the littler figures. Like you could have the like bigger ones on top and then like... Yeah. That way you could buy the whole droid factory and they could all take baths together. <laughs> These ones don't change colors like Droids those, but... don't need to take baths. The more the merrier in the tub. I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm tired. Do you think there's going to be a droid hot tub on the Galactic Star Cruiser? You get to like drink like space cocktails like with your best friend droid like who's like changing colors right next to you in a hot tub? Yes. Disney, I know you guys aren't done building that hotel yet, so watch this video. If that happens, Peter, you called it. You can now get a photo pass magic photo with Grogu from Mandalorian right on the outskirts of Galaxy Set. It's right where the Toy Story Land entrance is to Batu. And you ask the photo pass photographer, can I, can I get a a magic photo with a uh, 50 year old baby from a galaxy far far away and yeah i heard that he likes frog frog eggs so i brought him a little treat hopefully <laughs> hopefully he likes it <laughs> <laughs> So if you're visiting Galaxy's Edge, you're not going to want to miss out on that photo opportunity with Grogu. <laughs> Go to the Toy Story entrance and get it. And make sure you offer him something. My advice is the frog. He likes frogs. He also likes blue milk. He also told me that he likes Ron Traps. So, you know, just bring him a gift. Things have changed here on Batu. It's a very different place than when we left it a year ago. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's completely the same. I still had a really awesome time. It still has that Galaxy's Edge charm that we love. But yeah, like you said, it is definitely different. I'm not sure I would recommend it. I recommend people come here during this specific time that haven't been here yet because there's just so many things that are different. There's plexiglass everywhere. You can't get those chewy hugs. Yeah, you want those chewy hugs. So yeah, maybe wait. Yeah. But I still had an amazing day. Yes. We want to thank some... Kylo? There was a ship that flew over <laughs> overhead. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Including MW, Leslie Beavers, Marlon Gutierrez, and Megan Alcara. Thank you so much. Yeah, we also want to thank Meg and Santiago. Um, Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. They, they graciously gave us some points of their time share to, yeah. to stay here. So anyways, if you want to see our video from earlier on today. Yeah, we're actually shooting two videos at once. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was our first time back at Galaxy's Edge. Kids are cried. Yeah. The video will be right over there. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.